This is my three-minute rant, destroying belief in any religion, to counteract Josh Feuerstein's three-minute rant, destroying belief in evolution. What do we know? We know that we had no awareness before we were conceived, and it slowly developed after the neural network developed in the fetus. We now know, through the latest neural research, that awareness is a brain function. The electrical chemical functions in the brain are the processes that causes awareness. We also know that dreams, visions, near-death experiences and hallucinations are brain functions which can be induced by illness, chemicals produced by the body or introduced into the body by various means, such as eating, drinking, injections, breathing, and so on. We also know that the brain dies. When it does, awareness dies. We can observe that very vividly, especially if you have a close relative with Alzheimer's disease. My mother suffered from that dreadful disease. Slowly but surely, her awareness died and her brain function deteriorated. There's only one conclusion to be drawn here. We have only one chance of being aware of the universe. Make the most of it. That's what we know for sure. Our awareness after we die goes back to the place it was before we were born. All other speculations and wishful thinking are based on function and fiction and fantasy dreamt up by humans. Without any proof, I don't care how you want to twist it, It's immaterial whether there are any deities or intelligent entities around. If they are, we would never experience it, since when our brain stops working, so does our awareness. This is not speculation. We observe it. Many speculations and hypotheses have been developed and discussed endlessly. Many philosophers have debated religion for centuries, but none of them have offered any real facts to back up their explanations. I challenge anyone to refute this logic using known facts only. Please do not challenge the finance of the neurological research with denial, as is done in the evolution-creation debate. If you want to challenge the research, come up with authenticated, peer-reviewed research to prove your point. Do not use speculation and wishful thinking. This has been Andrews. For more information, see my website, www.origin-of-religion.com. Thank you.